Hey everybody, this is John at Paint Green. I'm here with Allison Hunt, a friend that I've known for probably about a year now, right Allison? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Um, Allison, I think, has probably traveled to more countries in the last year than anybody else I know. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know how many countries you've been at in the last year or just give a guess? As, as far as countries go, you know, it's really probably only, I'm coming up on three, maybe. Um, I've traveled to a lot of states. I did a, a cross-country road trip. So a lot of United, the United States I saw during the pandemic and then traveled several places in Mexico. And now I'm coming to you live from France. France, yeah. She's in Paris right now and going to Rome uh, later this week. So if, uh, if I know anybody with a passion for travel, it's definitely Allison. And that's perfect for what she does for her work. So uh, Allison uh, is a travel agent and she can help people book travel, uh, book excursions, make their plans. Um, she'll be able to do a lot better job of what uh, of explaining what she does. So let's just get into the interview questions. Yeah. Uh, so Allison, how did you get into the travel business? So as you kind of shared with everyone already, my passion is definitely travel, um, but I never really felt like I was able to do enough of it. Um, and actually, I owe it to the pandemic, really, because um, it gave me a little bit of extra free time for a little while. Um, and I, I went out on a road trip during the pandemic across the country, um, drove from California to Pennsylvania, making many, many stops along the way. And during that road trip, I actually discovered that... Um, that it was something I felt like I could do a lot more of. So travel was something I really wanted to be actually doing full time. Um, so after that, everything just kind of fell into place. I discovered that, you know, becoming a full time independent travel agent um, was something I could do and I could literally travel and work from anywhere. And um, so I started the process back in um, April. And then ever since then, I've been, you know, traveling smarter for myself. And then um, based on everything I learned from my travels, I'm able to provide recommendations to other people and help help them book as well. Right on. Yeah, it's a pretty big perk of the travel agency business to be able to work from anywhere you are in the world. Exactly. I guess all you really need is an internet connection, right? A hundred percent. Yep. Just a connection. Right and I can I can book a hotel room. <laughs> So what's one thing that everybody should know before hiring a travel agent? Um, that you don't have to pay more to work with me. That's one of the biggest misconceptions I think about travel agents is that, oh, you, there's probably all kinds of fees associated with this. Why right. would I go to you to book when I could just book it myself for cheaper? Well, um, that's, you know, that's, it's really just not the case. So my commissions are actually paid by the suppliers. So I connect you with whatever it may be the, you know, the hotel, the flight, um, uh, the all-inclusive, uh, the cruise, whatever. Um, and they, they pay the commissions to me. And so essentially for you, the price should be um, no different. So I would say that's, that's probably the biggest misconception that, you know. Just like to yeah, guilty. I've always thought that it's more expensive to work with a travel agency and that's only something that like, you know, the wealthy elite can do or whatever. But um, no, it makes yeah. a lot of sense that uh, you have better connections and can get better deals. And so it's a real win-win. Not just for any one particular type of travel either, uh, traveler either. That's that's another misconception is, yeah, it's only for the wealthy or for luxury travel. But I mean, I have every access to everything, you know, down to hostels that I can essentially book. And um, you're that booking through me, even if it's something simple that you could do um, on your own, um, you're helping out a small business. So um, you can go to my website, which is very similar to Expedia. It's just a booking engine. And even if you're just booking a basic hotel for the weekend, um, you know, you book it through my site and then the commission is going to me rather than a large um you know a, a gotcha. like Expedia so yeah um, so if I was going to like book a flight just to go visit my parents is that something that you help with or should I just like go direct to alaskaairlines.com and do it myself yeah, with flights, when it's just a flight alone, um, it's something I'm happy to always take a look at uh, for you. There might not be too much benefit for both of uh, both parties um, as far as booking through me. 
airlines are a little bit tough um, with booking, get, providing commissions to travel agents. So it's always something I'm happy to touch base on. Um, but, you know, if where, where flights, where booking flights for me really starts to make sense is when we're looking at an entire trip and I'm planning, you know, the details of where you're going to stay and helping you out, you know, with the hotel accommodations and the rental car in addition to the flights and maybe getting it in, you know, bundled up into a package that's when it would make the most sense um but yeah it's always something that we can connect on and, and see if i can help gotcha gotcha cool um so uh, i know that you're in paris right now and you're often like all over the world but uh, tell me something that you love about san diego and having this as your home base uh, say i mean i can go all over the world but san diego i know will always be my home base i mean it's just you have everything everything that i could need in one place i mean the weather is amazing the people are just awesome and laid back and then you've got you know the beaches the mountains um the city pretty much everything at your fingertips um and it's just it's just the lifestyle that i love to live and then we're also so close to Mexico. I travel in and around Mexico quite often. And so to be able to easily pop across the border, grab a flight out of Tijuana to go anywhere in Mexico for a more affordable um, airline ticket price. Um, I mean, those are just a few things, but <laughs> San Diego's home for life, <laughs> for sure. Yeah, it's true. You know, um, my wife and I flew to Cancun one time and we went out of Tijuana instead of San Diego and we saved like 600 bucks each. It was crazy. Exactly. We, I did that for, I just, I was just in Tulum, as you know, right before Paris. Um, so we flew into Cancun for my birthday and it was a girl's trip of 11 girls. And I just had us all carpool to the airport, um, the border, and we walked across on foot, hopped, uh, you know, and hopped on the plane in TJ and it saved us each several hundred dollars. So, um, so traveling is a good reason. it's so worth it. Yeah. yeah. Right on. So. Uh, so we're going to put links to like your phone number, email, like your website, all that stuff in the video, but, uh, what is the best way for people to connect with you? So I am accessible through all avenues, phone, text message, um, the number, you know, you can even text the number that you'll receive um, uh, in the link. So phone, text, or email. Um, you can register through my website. It's just allisonhunt.intellitravel.com. And um, that will alert me to contact you if you'd like me to reach out to you. And basically we can set up a call from that point and, and just talk about, you know, your travel needs. I um I, I like to send out a form basically for you to fill out, or if we get on a phone call, we'll talk through the questionnaire. But basically I, you know, talk through what type of travel you are, traveler that you are with you, um, so that I can kind of get a feel for, you know, what you're looking for in your trip and, you know, what kind of accommodations you prefer and everything really down to the bed type and, you know, the amenities that you like and what you want to be close to and, um, you know, just everything that you need, whether or not you need a rental car and to park the car at the hotel and just all the nitty gritty details of your um, vacation. And then um, from there, I start planning. So um, once we talk through all those details, um, depending on the needs of the trip, um, it could be a 48 hour, um, you know, 36 hour um, turnaround time frame for a proposal, but I, you know, compile a list of options for you, maybe at different price points or based on the things that we discuss and then um, shoot over your options. And then when you're ready to book, we can just, um, I just send you the link and, and then it's as simple as that. We get you all squared away. And that's awesome because I know the last like few trips that I've done, I've had to do like hours and hours of research just to try to find like the basics. And I still feel like I didn't really like find a lot of the little hidden gems out there that I wanted. So mm -hmm. to have like someone like you would be able to do that. Um, I'll definitely be using you next time we have a big trip. So, okay. Well, thanks so much that's for your awesome. time, Allison. I definitely... All right. You're welcome. It was nice talking to you. Yep. You too. Bye-bye.